Hello friends, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal at EdTech.tv. Do you ever find yourself finding an interesting article or picture that you want to remember, but then you don't have the time to read it when you actually find it? So then you try and go back and you forget where it was and uh, you just lose it. It gets lost forever. That used to happen to me all the time. Um, it was really frustrating because there would be something about professional development or just something personal that I wanted to read, and then it's gone. So I was really happy. There's actually quite a few apps that cover this, but I was really, really happy to find uh, Pocket. So there's, this is an app that lets you read it later. Um, you, It's a web app and a phone app, so you can use it wherever you like, but it's just like sticking that note in your pocket, which I actually still do. Um, if I find a, a piece of paper or a note that I want to read later, I will still stick it in my back pocket. So um, let's take a look at this app. All right, so when you go to the web, type in getpocket.com. That's getpocket.com. Uh, don't go to regularpocket.com. That's for some other company. Um, so you guys are going to sign up, uh, and I think you know how to do that by now. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to log in because I've already created my account. Okay, so you can see here that I've logged in, and this is what it looks like. Um, I've saved these numbers of articles. These are things that I wanted to look at. Um, but today I'm going to show you three different ways that you can save the articles. And this is how you do it. The first way you save an article is directly through your web browser. And I want to show you how to set that up. I'm going to do it with Safari. That's what I'm using here. But if you're using Chrome or Firefox, you can use them on pretty much all the modern browsers. So if I'm going to go and try and sign it up for Safari, I'm going to look up Pocket Safari. And it'll show up as the very first choice right here on Get Pocket. Um, this is actually on the same website. I think it's easier to look in Google than just to search around on the website. And I'm going to download it here. Make sure you let it install. And right here in the top left, you can see that I can now save to Pocket. Now, every time I'm on a website that I want to save that page and remember it for later, all I have to do is click on the button up here. So let's give you an example. Let's say I'm on edtech.tv and I'm looking at the new app spotlight for uh, QuizUp. And this looks interesting to me. I want to read it, but I got to do it later because I got to jump off to class. I'm going to click right here. And I got to make sure I'm signed in. So let's do that. Now it says page saved and I'm there. So when I go back to my actual pocket account, there it is showing up right at the very top and later on in the day at the evening when I go home I can read it all right there and it can also let me go back to uh, the original page if I want to I can click on this one share um, send out to friends Facebook all that type of stuff which is great but I can also view the original article right there on edtech.tv all right so now I've shown you how to add articles via the browser, but let's say you want to email yourself an article. Maybe you're not on your browser or you don't have it logged in for some reason. Um, or if you're on your phone, that's how I often do this. So go here, click on pocket and go down to options. And then right here, you'll see the second one down says email accounts. Click on that. And then make sure that your email is in their email accounts. And uh, this is my Gmail account for EdTech TV. Um, and then all you have to do is you have to save their address into your phone book. That's a pro tip. So it's save add at getpocket.com. And all you have to do is email the links directly to them. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. If you're on your phone, and let's say I'm looking up this recipe for a uh, primal breakfast burrito. Um, 
You can just click down at this bot bottom button down here. Uh, you know, you don't have to be on an iPhone. Of course, you can be on an Android device or whatever. Um, you can even be on your computer or someone else's computer. But you're going to send out to them by mail. And you're going to type in the address. So I've already got it saved in my address book. Add, uh, so it says save to pocket. And then it's the recipe right there. And I'm going to send it in. Now, of course, I can go back to Pocket, and there's the link right there. But I want to show you an even better thing. If you if you happen to be looking at recipes, go ahead and download the app for Pocket right here into your phone. And it shows up right here at the top. Look how easy this is to have all the recipe right there ready for me to go. So if I'm shopping, I can go grab that um, or, you know, whatever it is. So it's nice having it on the phone. I'm not really showing the, the phone app version, but, um, you know, it, it is a really excellent option. So I would recommend downloading the, uh, the app for it as well. And finally, I want to look a little bit at Twitter. Um, the really cool thing about Pocket is that it's connected to so many different apps. So if you are like me and you like to get a lot of your information on Twitter, you can click on Twitter and uh, go to your settings. And scroll down here and you can see this option that says services read later and they give you reading list. So if you use Instapaper reading list, but click down here and click on Pocket and add in your information. Then just click on save. Now, if I go back to my regular Twitter feed, and right here, wherever I am, let's just say I want this very first one. I can click on the little uh, three dots down there and click on send to pocket and it'll do it automatically for me. So if I jump over to pocket, it's already right there. And it not only shows me the Twitter link, but it shows me the article that's linked to through Twitter as well. So really, really useful. Um, and I don't have to think a lot about it. I can just say, hey, I'm going to have an hour later when I'm at coffee. Definitely going to read it then. All right, everybody. We are at the end of our lesson, which means that it is time for your homework. Uh, today's going to be a little extra step, but a little longer than normal. But obviously, I want you to get a Pocket account at getpocket.com. Next, I would like you to download the plugin to your browser, uh, so it could be for any browser that you like. Then I'd like you to add your email to the options section. That one is huge. It makes it really useful. And finally, connect Pocket to Twitter or other apps. Um, it's not just Twitter. It also works with uh, Flipboard or you know all sorts of apps out there. Play around, see what's out there. Um, of course, I always want you to follow me at EdTechPrincipal on Twitter, um, either there on YouTube at EdTechPrincipal, and of course at Facebook.com slash EdTechTV. I hope you guys appreciated this one. This was a really useful kind of professional development and personal use one. Take it, see what you do with it, and uh, as always, I want to hear from you, so send me a message anywhere you like. Hope all's going well, and I will talk to you soon.